Welcome to Everett Barbecue. I'm Joe Everett, and today we're smoking a pork butt on the Char Griller Grand Champ XD. Easy peasy and super simple. We're taking these splits of cherry and these splits of hickory and getting busy on that Grand Champ XD. You gotta love that 99 cents a pound pork butt sale at the Kroger. So respect goes out to this pig, what's left of his shoulder, and shout out to Larry Kroger, AKA Pinto. Delta Tau Kai represent. First off, I like to trim down the little pockets of fat and little areas of silver skin on the meat side, and then thin out the fat cap where it's too thick. I also like rounding off the corners, especially if they're frayed or at just too much of a point for my taste. There's usually a little blood vessel right above the money muscle that's gotta go. It just does not make for good eating. You already know what binder I'm going with for this cook. That's right. They don't call me the big sriracha for nothing. Nine and a half pounds of pork is gonna take a lot of seasoning, so our first layer of flavor is gonna be AP rub. And since we're smoking this fat cap up, we'll season the meat first and start with the sides like a pro. For the perfect complement to this pork, it's time for those sticky little piggies. So now we got two kinds of sugar, two kinds of salt, and we got pepper for days, boy. Now if you want to try these rubs at home and step up your game and roll with the big dogs, well click in the description below to get the recipe to every rub in this video. You know the drill. Flip that piggy, rinse, wash, repeat on the presentation side, pat that rub in, and we're ready to throw down. Those are looking good. Cooking this pork butt, we're going with some cherry wood today. I think that wood's nice and seasoned. It caught pretty, pretty well. Nine and a half pounds of glory. Such a big butt. All right, we're just gonna roll some smoke in there, keep it around 250, probably check back in with you in two hours. Okay team, we're about an hour and a half in. This thing's made a lot more progress than what I thought it would. Uh, I even added a water pan on the side. Uh, yeah, you'll see. Still rolling relatively clean smoke, very much set. So I, it definitely needs a spritz a little earlier than what I thought. We're also cooking a lot closer to 275, 300-ish to be truthful. This is just apple cider vinegar and water, basic mix. Uh, two parts apple cider vinegar, one part water. Well, I like the progress we're making. It's only an hour and a half. I'm not really bothering about a temp. I just, I'm looking at bark and uh, the kind of crust we're forming and so far so good. All right, we're about two and a half hours in. I think definitely in need of a spritz, but also we're running a little hot, so we've got her backed off here. Ooh. That's starting to look delish. Real nice crust and that sugar. Oh yeah, that's just grease, gang. You know it tastes good. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it up with this apple cider vinegar and water. I don't wanna get too much of that fat cap set back to process here, but uh, let you guys in for the real thing here. What do you think? I'm liking the way that's developing. Between 250 and 275 seems to be the range this cooker uh, really likes to be at. Or certainly uh, 300 plus on this uh, upper gauge, but of course I got my trusty ink bird. Wouldn't go anywhere without it. Anybody that was at Keith Fest, y'all know about my ink bird. Ink bird! You don't have an ink bird? I suggest you get one. Click show more in the description and order you one. For every 10 bucks you spend, I might get a nickel. Okay, we're about four hours in, give or take. I think it's time to get a look at this bark. See what we got. Ooh, don't that look nice? Yeah. Ooh. Fat's still got some bounce to it. But I'm liking the color. That fat cap's about to give way though. 
I think we're going we may just meet in the middle in regard to that and get you guys in and so you can investigate the crime scene here. Uh, you can see where the fat cap starting to split there. Decent color. I'm liking where we're at. 30 more minutes, maybe an hour, maybe a touch more, but again, I want I want this fat to kind of stop pushing back, but that, I mean, that's set. There's just grease on there and, you know, maybe I'll sample it, maybe I won't. Mm, 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 mm. All right, you'll know when I know. Ooh, sticky little piggy, gonna be spicy. Yeehaw. Okay, team, we're exactly five hours in. Have a look at that. Fat cap is done split. Nice and squishy. See how it's given? Time for somebody's wrap nap. Gonna give this a nice sweet profile here. A little honey, a little brown sugar. I'm gonna opt no butter. Boy, the wind always try, tries something funny, you know? Oh, are you trying to do something cool? Well, the wind's got something for you. That'll be plenty. Have a look at that guy, huh? Scoot everybody on and off of here. Back on, she's going. Okay, at this point, I think I will probe it just to see what kind of range we're in. Before this, I was just looking for bark, just looking for the feel of the fat rendering to decide when to wrap. Ain't shook about a pork butt being hot. Five millimeter nitrile, double thick liners, boss style. You could boss up too, you click that show more. This thing has rested for 90 minutes and we're still 190. Adios, probe, you have served well, my friend. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Little bit of pressure and they're just gonna fall. Let's deal with our tubes, huh? Oh yeah, these tubes are like money. Yeah, this is still on fire. Even through the liners, this is uh, very hot. Oh, beautiful. I really like the bark. So far, a very pleasing bark. And wow, is it pulling like a dream. Look at these tubes. Look at those. Hey, these are those tubes. Let me just pull for you. Sample. Again, these uh, tubes, they still got their fiber, so it's not like mush. Mm. Very strong smoke flavor. That hickory and cherry is coming through. Mm. A real thing of beauty and uh, it's pulling so well, but the uh, smoke ring that was achieved, very enjoyable. That's some baller pork and it's that wood smoke flavor coming through in every bite. It's just a nice, clean, smoky, super moist pork butt. You wouldn't be ashamed to serve that at anybody's party. We ended up cooking at 275 for the majority of this cook, and I won't call it hot and fast, but I will call this warm and quick for certain. I'd say about six hours, and we were ready for a wrap nap. Put that thing to rest at an hour and a half, and here we are today with the receipts, gentlemen. The receipts. Thanks so much for putting up with me. If you want more cooks like this, ring that notification bell, click subscribe, join my tribe, jump in the backyard, hang with my gang, and get to cooking with us. As far as when it's time to wrap, I don't think temperature really matters. At least I don't believe in it. 
I'm like the nihilist from Big Lebowski, man. Nothing, Lebowski, nothing. Well, I believe in the bark, you know, because barbecue is at least an ethos. Hey, see, man, I'm seeing the hickory wood up. Better not get ash on my shelf. Buster, it will go bad for you. 250 and. Wow, dude in his saw, man. Seriously, he's got to get a room today. Them two, DeSalle and that dude. Easy peasy and super simple. We're taking these splits of hickory and these splits of cherry and getting busy on that Grand Champ XD. Oh man, you got grass stains on your nice splits. Look at that, what a buster. He got grass stains on his splits. 